So, you know, we are at a very interesting times right now, uh, especially when you think about the infrastructure. And I would say two things. Uh, one is, you know, on the technology landscape, that's changing fast. Various aspects of infrastructure are changing. The underlying, you know, network storage is changing. And of course, containers are a big disruptor when you think about the traditional virtualization. Uh, but also, I would say, um, the DevOps model, that's catching up fast. And that is also causing a lot of changes. So, you know, I would speak as uh, what we do at PayPal and, you know, being the cloud infrastructure organization, we're responsible for running and operating uh, the cloud and the infrastructure around it. So for us, you know, containers or any other technology like this, it's really the TCO um, in any investment we are making, that's very important. And, uh, you know, um, of course, containers have, have the promise, as I spoke about earlier today, uh, you know, you can pack more applications in the same form factor. You can certainly improve your utilization in a smaller footprint, gives you flexibility of moving workloads. So you have all these benefits, but ultimately for us, it has to translate into, I would say, two main things. One is the what we call the efficiency of the infrastructure and the, uh, you know, the utilization. And we measure that you know, as part of you know, what is the cost per transaction. So that's the real number that we care about. There are a few different reasons. Uh, people are looking at hybrid cloud for agility, for flexibility. Uh, many are looking at it purely to avoid the traditional costs they have been incurring from you know, cooling and power and so forth, running in private data centers. For us, uh, as PayPal again, you know, uh, there are a couple of other factors I would say. One is the geo footprint. We, we want to be everywhere, right? And in order to do that, we absolutely are you know, very keen to see how we quickly expand our footprint, uh, at the same time uh, are able to comply with the local regulatory uh, requirements that we have from different governments. So these are the two main things I would say that are important to us in addition to all the other ones. The way I see it is that over the next three, four, five years, what we are doing today, the technologies that are cutting edge today, they're going to blur, they're going to morph into something different. Um, I think the, the basic needs that we have uh, from, from the infrastructure, those needs won't go away. Uh, you know, when you think about availability, you think about flexibility, enablement, you think about cost efficiency, those business needs will not go away, but the technologies that will be dominant at that time, that will solve those problems for us, those will change. And that's, that's one thing I can say for sure. So the highlights of the container world, uh, the, the in a half a day or so I have been here today, and it's overwhelming. The, the first of all, hats off to you guys for organizing this. You know, it, I understand it's the first time you're doing it here. Uh, the response uh, was, you know, phenomenal. The the audience I saw very engaging. You know, 9 a.m. in Silicon Valley, rare, it's rare to find that many people uh, lining up for anything. And I saw that this morning. And you know, throughout the day, even the um, the booths you have, the vendors who are showcasing, of course, as PayPal, we have our own booth. Of course, we are not showcasing any products. We are just showcasing the work that our developers have done. Uh, but the participation, the enthusiasm, the response has been very, very uh, pleasing for us. So, you know, thank you. Thank you, all of you guys, for doing this.